look at me the whole time. Why don't you just go to this two shot right away, please, and thank you, because we have an awesome musician in-house. There he is, New Brunswick-based singer-songwriter <laughs> Robert Thomas joining us. And his in the flesh. In the flesh with the coolest glasses that are only $9, and he's already starting trends, I tell you. You'll probably People see him on stage. People ask me about these. Yes. People ask me about these glasses. I mean, you're just the coolest cat around. You and the band hitting the road? Well, we're out there. Yes, okay. So tell me about you and the band a little bit. For those who are not familiar, which you should be, because he is, uh, he, you're, quite, uh, you're quite known for your, your lyrics. Well, I've been writing songs forever, probably since uh, I came over here to, to Dalhousie in 1976. Wow. Wrote my first one for uh, Bonnie Raitt about 1990 in the basement of Howell Hall, <laughs> in the shower. What? Having girlfriend trouble. <laughs> Just broke up with a girl from PEI. Uh oh. And I got to writing, and then not long after the, the, the call came in, they wanted a quirky, up tempo love song kind of thing to follow what's, got, uh, what's Love Got to Do With It. Yeah. And I had that going in the shower there, and away we went. So heartbreak led to, to some beautiful Always. creations, Especially right? Especially in the men's residence. Okay. <laughs> You know, I do the best performance when you're in the shower and you're Absolutely. feeling your emotions. I wrote, I wrote my first love song in that shower to the, to the girl. Okay. Did you win her back? No, that was what started it. Then we broke up and then I wrote the other one. Oh, that was a full Came cycle. full circle. Full Came circle. full circle at Howe Hall. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, we're so excited because you and the band, the Session Man, you're uh, doing a maritime tour yep. and uh, here is nice the homecoming for you because you've been all over the world but to be here in Halifax you've been nominated for the 2023 ECMA Entertainer of the Year so how yep. does that feel like when you got that information did it did it feel like okay this is this is something I've been working towards well, or and you, you have to apply for these things okay it's so not a you, surprise you, you didn't apply your team <laughs> applies let's be serious right right well you get nominated because you apply anyway so you know I we applied for lots of things for the yeah. East Coast Music Awards, and I don't remember applying for that. See? And so that's what came in, and I was very surprised. Oh, my god. I was goodness. very surprised, and it's been, as they say, since the 70s, I've been over here. Yeah. So I'm discovered 45 years later. This is good. Isn't that funny? This is good. Better late than never. Yep. But, I mean, people might not even realize some of the music that you've, you've written for, you know, top-tier artists the chicks to say yep. you know for example and now you're taking those songs and you're performing them and making it your version a lot of the different ones uh, original versions of songs as you hit the, the yeah. road you're making them your renditions was that fun or was it sort of like I, what I you thought to, in mind when you first started to write those tracks well, Anna, i didn't know i mean i think That's i think so any songwriter right. would be lying if they told you they they didn't care about singing their own songs really yeah I oh think, wow for most of us, there is that inner voice you'd like to hear do the stuff yourself, and yeah. for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen. And wow. over a long time, at the end of my career, I thought, no, I, I know all these guys that are great players and writers, and I would like to go out before I'm done yeah. and, and do these, these songs with them. And it's, it's been more than I expected. It's just, it's been more fun than yeah. I expected. Not, not having done that, we've toured for the last year, but that was the first time I really toured. And uh, I didn't really know whether I could do it as a performer, you know, and be nervous and all that sort of thing. And it's just been wonderful. The, the guys are just great to play with. Ray Legere, John Arsenault, Max Forbes, just, they just, they just give you such a steady thing to, to perform to. It then becomes, you just inhabit the songs with those guys. You don't have to worry about anything. And so it's been just wonderful. Why I wish now? I had done it 40 okay, years ago. Okay, that's what I'm that, asking. Why now? Because I didn't know. You didn't know? I just didn't know. I kind of shied away from it, you know? Was it the nerves of performing, or just you had such a good thing yeah, going, we, writing you know, these songs for, you know? Well, you performers. sort of get into it. Okay. You fall into your into your groove, you know? Yeah. And that's, that becomes what you do. And we did some songwriter circle things, lots of those. And I was always nervous for those. And it was it was not always that much fun. I kind of preferred just at that time just to write. So you just, as I say, you just get in your groove and that's what you do and you make, make your way and, and then this was accidental and uh, I'm having a hell of a time. Oh, a a isn't time. that accidental magic? Isn't yep. that beautiful? I have, have to say, I wish I had done it before. But better now. Yep. Because now you have a different appreciation. Well, it's funny. It's funny. Maybe, you know, uh, life is funny. You know, I probably couldn't have done it before. Nerves. Yeah. Not old enough. Not have, you don't have a perspective on the world. Not a lot to say. 
Wow. Now I got lots to say. And people can see because you have a showcase. At the yeah, and we're at the, and we're at the Carlton tonight. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. And that's people, such an intimate. That is a that is content. a lovely place to play. When I was when I was here before in college, it was called the Jury Room. Mm. It was a pickup bar. So we're starting the oh. set tonight with a song called Judge and Jury. I love it. Yep. Okay. In honor of those days. Honor of those days. <laughs> hey, you know, heartbreak and love. They it's, make it is the essence of songwriting. Stories. There you go. This has been such a treat. I wish I could talk to you Thank longer. You. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And uh, I'm happy we're rediscovering you now. Lucky. Fine wine. Fine wine. There you go. Great glasses too. 852. Catch him tonight with the band. That was Robert Thomas joining us. I think he'll be entertainer of the year. In my eyes anyway. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> Put away your pictures, change all the locks in a week or two.